Now, welcome to another edition of Reading God. Today, I want to talk about every man lives by what you think that is. Is it a car? Is it a house? Is it clothes? What does man live by? Simply, we already know that it's got to be food, what we take into our body, because you can live without a house, you can live without a car, you can live without clothes, but you can't survive without food for too long. That's why food is very important. But because Jesus made a statement in Matthew chapter 4 by 4, my man shall not live by food alone. So food is one important aspect of keeping man healthy and alive in this world. So that's why there are many hungry people there. That is one basic need that man should not lack. If you are wealthy, if you have resources, help those that are out there. So number two, Jesus said that not food alone, but by the word of God. So two basic things that keep people alive in the physical and in the spiritual is physical food, which I can end in taking like food and drinks, and the word of God. So these are the two most important things. And you see what why Adam and Eve sinned, the commandment of spirit, soul, and a body, the spirit is what died when man disobeyed God and later on died a physical death. But what you must know that what caused man, Adam and Eve to die was food. They ate the wrong food. And that's why if you eat the wrong food, your body will suffer for it in even in this even in this life. But it's not only that food, they disobeyed also the word of God. God said they should not eat of that fruit, but they listened to the devil and they ate of that fruit and they died. So these two things are the key to both physical and spiritual life. So that's why they are most two important things. And the word of God, the Bible says, is not just mere word, it's spirit and life. So we need to take the word of God seriously, read it, and not only live based on physical food, because at the end of the day, spiritual food is what makes your spirit alive to where you can make eternity with God. If you're not born again, just say this prayer on the screen, and I promise you that God will come to your life and be your Lord and Savior. And if you already said that, tell someone about Jesus Christ. So I'll to you again. God bless.